Okay, so Ubisoft has just announced their future plans with DDoSing. Uh, they just posted a blog on the Ubisoft website, so I'm just going to read through this. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever been DDoSed uh, and how many times have you? So DDoS and our next steps. The next step, spam waves. We have identified the worst offenders perpetuating these DDoS attacks and we will be initiating a ban wave. This will apply to both PC and console players. So console players, you are not left out on this one. The impact that doing this will have is players that have been found to be initiating DDoS attacks will permanently be banned. The target of when they're planning to do this or hope to get it done by is next week and will continue as needed. Next we have reducing matches per server. We currently host three matches per server. When a server crashes or when a DDoS attack occurs, this results in three matches being impacted and taken offline. We are splitting this to have each server host a single match to reduce the impact. So if you don't know what this means is if you have a hacker in one game and they DDoS it, it will actually impact two other matches where there might not even be like a DDoSer or hacker in it. So it will just shut down two completely random different games that have nothing to do with the DDoS. So they're, you know, planning to switch around the servers. And obviously, one out of three doing this will uh, reduce it by 66%. And they hope to do this by the end of this week. Next, we have Remove Escalating Abandoned Sanction. So, we noted the unintended consequences of Escalating Abandoned Sanction on players impacted by DDoS attacks. We are disabling this fe feature to reduce the longer term impacts that is felt legitimate by players. Impact, reduce impact felt by le legitimate players after a match has been ended by a DDoS. So obviously this just means, you know, like uh, if there's a DDoS and then you get kicked out and then, you know, you get a ban, that will no longer happen. You won't get a ban anymore. And they hope to do that by the end of this week. Network traffic monitoring slash management. We are making adjustments to how we manage and monitor network data and how we accept packets sent to our servers. We cannot provide details on this topic as it will expose information that can be used to circumvent the work we are doing. This will have a substantial impact on DDoSing and so on. The, imp the impact on this will have a substantial impact on DDoS and so on. And they hope to do this early October, so in about like 15 days, they hope to do that. The legal options, we have discussed the current situation with our legal team and assessed our options. We will be issuing C's, issuation? I can't even speak English. We will be issuing C's and desist to websites and people hosting these services. Legal action against prominent DDoS attackers is in progress. Impact, reduce the availability of DDoS service providers and that's ongoing. So that just means, you know, overall they are just trying to reduce the amount of DDoSers. And working with Microsoft partners, development is ongoing with our partners on the Microsoft Azure team. And we are working closely with them to develop both short and long term solutions. Impact, this will have a substantial impact on DDoS and so on. So that's just saying they are trying to work with their Microsoft team just to, you know, reduce it overall. And then these are the list of terms if you don't know what any of these uh, keywords mean. But that is pretty much it. So how do you feel about this? I'm really excited and happy. That's not even a question. I'm sure everyone is happy this is happening. They finally addressed the DDoS. They're upgrading the servers. They're, they're doing a good job, man. Rainbow getting bigger, larger community day by day. The game's not dying good. I will have this blog in the description below and I hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye.